Okay, I would like to show you how a gyro compass works. I have here an old electric, it's just electrically powered um, flywheel type gyroscope, mechanical but electrically powered, an artificial horizon indicator, but I've taken out all the extra bits and I've added a little spring here to emulate the centering weights on a gyro compass because normally they have weights or a mercury ballast or something so that when the earth rotates under it the gravitational pull it causes an imbalance which causes a precession but since I need to emulate the earth rotating more quickly I need to um, use a spring but the principle is the same this um, gyroscope is not sensitive enough to actually work as a gyro compass for the rotation of the earth but it works for faster rotations and it definitely um, illustrates the principle so basically we have our gimbal which allows this to rotate this way and then allows this to rotate this way too So basically, with a gyroscope, a spinning wheel on a two-axis gimbal like this, when you apply a force, which I'm going to just put weight right here, see that makes it rotate one way, and if I put weight here, it rotates the other way. So basically, it, whatever angle you apply the force at, it translates that to 90 degrees. So if, for example, if I put force here, it again translates that to 90 degrees off. And that's the principle that the gyro compass works on. Basically, we'll look at my spring here. When the world tips under him, it creates a side force due to the weight of the spring, which causes it to precess. If the world tips the other way, it causes it to precess the other way. So, this, you know, one would be equivalent to starting out pointing north, and the other would be pointing out starting out pointing south and so what I'd like to illustrate is how and why the gyro compass takes the shortest path to true north when you turn it on so I've started this at exactly right angles with the axle going right to left here the flywheel axle going right to left and then I'm going to rotate the camera and everything this way to simulate the earth rotating so you can see that puts when the earth rotates around the gyroscope wheel it tensions that spring and it causes that to start precessing and it goes around and around and around and eventually it gets to where it's going and then overshoots a little bit and as the world keeps on rotating then it overshoots and then it will come back until it zeroes in finally I don't know how far I can bend over here but see now it's tilted down the other way and now it's starting to come back okay that's as far as I can bend over so now I'm going to show you that it takes the shortest path either way so I'm going to start out with it pointing like this actually I'm going to turn it around and start out with it pointing like this so you can see the spring so what happens is when the world rotates it causes it to imbalance and that spring causes it to start precessing until finally it reaches its north-south alignment. Now, I'm going to turn this all the way around and start from this side. Balance it out. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate clockwise again. But now look, it's now rotating the other way, taking the shortest path. but we're still seeing this here face which doesn't have the brass piece on it so and I'll show you what the other end looks like 
see it's got a brass piece there. So what's happening, oops, let me get the spring for you. Oh, looks like my little spring piece is coming loose. Okay, so what's happening is when the earth rotates, when we're gyro wheel is pointing one way and the earth t rotates this way, it starts turning that way. But if the whole wheel is turned around so that the spring side here were facing away from us, that same earth rotation would appear like this, which turns it the other way. Now let me illustrate what this looks like from the top. Okay, so I have the gyro wheel axle right to left, in other words, pointing east to west in, in our simulated environment here. And so now I'm going to rotate the world this way, and you can see that begins rotating there. Because that spring got tensioned, and now it's putting force on there and it's causing it to crease it over it overshoots but as the world keeps rotating then it will come around see and then it now it starts coming back and finally it will zero in on the true gym the true um, rotational north pole so I am going to line this back up with this pointing to the left. Now this, see this uh, thing right here is our, our, say our north mark. And if the world rotates to the right, see that causes it to start moving counterclockwise towards the target. But now I'm gonna move this around This is very difficult, filming and manipulating a gyro with one hand. So now I'm going to move this around like this. Okay. See, now it's pointing to the left. And now I'm, I'm still going to... Oh, come on. It's not leveled out. Okay, now it's pretty stable. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate the uh, world again to the right. But see, now the orientation of... The flywheel is spinning in the opposite direction from last time because the whole thing was turned around and now it's rotating the gimbal clockwise, which is the opposite. So you can see that the reason that it takes the shortest path is because the shortest path is determined by which way the gyro wheel is spinning compared to which way the earth is rotating. And so if it's all the way backwards, then it's just kind of a random chance it could it could start either way depending on which slightly way it was and it's not going to start at all and in fact error compass, compasses don't work all that well when they're right up on the very pole because of the, the axis of the earth's rotation is nearly vertical and they aren't, aren't very sensitive in that direction but if it's, I'm just going to put it a little bit off here. And I'm going to rotate the earth to the right. And see, it's going in the shortest possible direction. And if I put it a little bit here. And then I rotate the earth to the right. See, now it's still going in the shortest possible direction. And it has to do with which way the spring is pulling with reference to the direction of the gyro wheel. If it pulls one way, it'll rotate one way, and if it pulls the other way, it'll rotate the other way. And there's half of a circle, or in half of, in ha the half of the circle, it'll pull one way for the Earth's rotation, and in the other half of the circle, it pulls the other way of the Earth's rotation. And, in be and at the two points, the exact north and exact south, 
um, position, it doesn't pull either way. But if it's in the exact south position, like this, well, there, okay. Then it would have to be exactly perfectly centered to not grab, but then it could go around for a while and not grab. But once it starts to uh, drift a little bit one way or the other, then it's closer one way, and then that's the shortest path, and then it goes that way. Well, I hope that helps. So if the earth rotates, it just, it puts, it turns that, because the gyro is holding still in space angularly, and that creates a precession force.